So I wanted to do a system analysis. I just did a quick maintenance on my house. Just as like a point of reference, I got a five stage infinity uh, heat pump all uh, backed up by a two stage gas furnace and then a condensing um, tankless or uh, Navian water heater, standalone, not the combi obviously. Um, so I have seven stages of heat. Uh, endless hot water, five stages of air conditioning. I just did a maintenance on pretty much everything, pretty darn thoroughly in about an hour and a half, uh, excluding combustion analysis. Uh, I used the air system. I had my hose out to you. Um, I just wanted, I've, and I've also, I've done a review on a few other tools for uh, HVACR, HVACR, uh, refrigeration maintenance and repair uh, systems and I say systems like procedures that I'm arranging in a sequential order or uh, with new tools to facilitate those uh, procedures that's what I mean by systems so the first and foremost I was talking about the hand press tools or uh, the uh, ProPress and zoom lock I purchased uh, the, they're like no name brands. And then the, the Zoom Lock was made by Bluefin. Um, they had the same uh, type of head, but what I did find is that the tension setting on the uh, ProPress one was not correct. Uh, and the adjustment was not easy. I ended up having to add a couple uh, shims or uh, three layers of uh, 26 gauge sheet metal stacked up with a little bit of oil and I just drilled through it to make the, the washer the right thickness to get the right press. Um, but I, I shouldn't have to do that and it, fortunately it just worked out that the jaws fit on the zoom lock one so I've and, and that tension was was plenty for um the pro press jaws. So I, I moved the jaws over to the bluefin uh, equipment. And I also purchased the hydraulic one. Um, it's a hand hydraulic uh, pro press jaw. It looks like it's a different style, the, the actual jaws themselves. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to interchange the jaws between all three, but I was happy I was able to at least do uh, use the zoom lock tool for for progress as well because I wasn't too happy with the progress tool the zoom lock tool I was happy with and that that tension was right without adjustment again I was able to make the the progress one work but I had to add a couple of shims to the shaft it's just it, it was stupid it was like why not just make it easily adjustable pain in the neck once I got it dialed in it worked but I kind of felt like for just the space on the truck. I just only needed to carry one. So I, I'm carrying the higher quality one, which is the Bluefin. Um, so that's first and foremost. Second uh, system I had uh, thought up was a, um, a deer hoist tripod for hoisting compressors um, out of condensing units without having to bend over. Um, for hoisting ice machines up on top of the bins without having to uh, throw your back out or hurt yourself. Um, and to potentially hoist uh, entire units up or compressors up through the hatchway on the rooftops um, without having to, again, hurt yourself or bucket it or anything like that. So I haven't had the opportunity to use that system yet because I haven't really had an ice machine uh, head to replace as on the truck. Uh, what I have used extensively on just about every um, attic furnace or air under the replacement is my come along, uh, my three quarter or half ton that's something like that. It's either half or three quarter ton. Uh, come along with a 25 foot chain. I basically will throw a piece of pipe up in the attic, you know, clamp it up there nice and good, hook to that, 
drop the chain down to the second floor or first floor, hook it to the furnace, and ratchet it right up to the attic. Um, while having another guy kind of guide it so it doesn't drag along the attic stairs. But it's it's been, I think, a really highly used tool. Um, I feel like it's improved the safety on the job, um, both to short-term injury and long-term injury. Um, so it's mitigated that risk. As far as being a time saver, I think it's probably added a little bit of time to each job, but not significantly. I mean, maybe like a half hour, 45 minutes, because there's some downtime typically with two guys on a job to set up, you know, a little rig to, um, to hoist the equipment rather than just muscling it up. Um, I found that like I've at the end of the day I'm just not sore having that come along on my truck or uh, has undoubtedly been used three to four times three times a week it's coming off the truck I used it the other day I had a um a compressor change out and it was in the corner or uh, between like on the inside corner of a fence so I took uh, a piece of steel pipe and put it across the corner like a kitty corner and I put the come along on that and I ratcheted the compressor out to do the compressor change uh, without having to bend over. I just didn't need the tripod uh, but it's still on the truck because ice machines are a living nightmare. Third system this is the airbender system so the idea is that having an air compressor to keep my body cool when I'm working in attics is a lifesaver. I'm going to um, prevent heat stroke. I think every year I suffer at least four or five mild heat strokes. Like I'm symptomatic several times during the summer. Um, you know, it's, what do you read? It's affecting me. And the, how long that lasts is, you know, who knows? You can't never know. But I know I, so many times I come out of addicts and I feel a drunk. And I know that's not like my brain saying everything's okay. It's the symptom of oh, bad things. So I, in order to mitigate my exposure to being put in an oven, I have an air compressor. It, you know, goes into a vest and it blows that compressed air just like a, 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 a normal air conditioner when the compressed air rapidly expands the temperature comes down pretty significantly so the air coming out of the vents it's rapidly expanding the temperature goes down even lower than the, uh, the room you're pumping it from so it's highly effective at keeping you cool highly effective and even if you're coming down from an attic we haven't had a hot day yet but trust me i know you're coming down from a hot attic to cool yourself off that compressed air it feels better than an air conditioner you know it's just the the vest just blows the air on you it's rapidly expanding it's been dehydrated because it went through the compressor so that pulls a lot of the moisture out i'm a big fan but what I'm even more of a fan of, and I was kind of surprised, because I was thought about the, the pressure washer being my favorite. You know, the it's I could see it being useful, um, especially because now I don't have to carry like big uh, jugs uh, on my truck for the uh, hand pumps. And so it's a little like basically the compressor is the size of one of my uh, hand pumps. So room-wise, one of the hand pumps came off and the air compressor doesn't take up any more room. But doing the maintenance on my system, residential system, three components, not like 50 in a kitchen, just three residential components. This tool right here, it's an air gun with a nice long flexible wand on it. I'm sorry, I got my... So this thing right here, is awesome for maintenance basically the blower wheel on my uh, on my indoor fan 
just hold the blower wheel in place. Send this thing in there. Pssh, dust cloud. But my blower wheel spotless. Same thing with the motor windings. I don't have to pull the motor out. I send this thing in there. Pssh, I clean off all the, all the dust off the windings to keep them nice and cool. And then same the condensate pump. Normally, I would take the base off the condensate pump, I'd pull the discharge line, I'd bring everything upstairs, and I'd clean it, right? Now, I pull the base off the pump, I leave the top in place, Psh, I blast out the pump mechanism, Psh, I blast out the motor, I spray the whole thing with lubricating WD-40, I never pull the discharge line, and I put the pump back on. Uh, with my um, tankless water heater, I pulled out the spark igniter and the flame rod. I send this into the heat exchanger. Psh! I just blast a bunch of air in there. You know, I look in the inspection window, make sure it's not like giant stalactites. But just, you know, it, it was pretty much spotless. But just as an added, psh, clean it out and then hit my drains. You know, it doesn't have the rubber thing on it, but you throw your hand right there. Psst, 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 blow out your drains. On my condenser, I have that pressure washer combo, but since I was like, you know, it's right, it's basically the tool in hand is the tool you use sometimes. <laughs> so basically what I did was I just like dusted the condenser off um, before I hosed it off. So I just did it chemical free, um, but since it was dry out, I kind of was able to send this thing down into the condenser, whatever, like this, and blast it from the inside out. It's rigid enough where you can kind of get some play from a distance and um, blasted it from the inside out and then hosed it from the outside in. And I did a pretty darn good job cleaning that condenser. Um, for not having any chemicals or anything like that. So as far as a, a maintenance uh, system for HVACR, um, even on residential applications, I think that the compressed air system is highly effective. Um, a few other systems that I'm, I'm very fond of is uh, my new nitrogen uh, regulator. Um, but I won't go into brazing and all my hot work because I think it's a long enough video. I'm closing in on 15 minutes. But I wanted to just touch base on the three systems. Um, the, uh, the, the, the tripod um, hoist system, um, the compressed air system, and um, I forget the other one. <laughs> anyway... Um, oh, the ProPress system, the manual oh, jaws, 50-50 on those. I think that it was the right choice because now I'm going to have three ProPress tools. Two, I'm sorry, two ProPress tools. I'm going to do the zoom lock. <laughs> One zoom lock tool, um, interchangeable jaws. I'm going to be in it for less than 500 bucks. Uh, I'm going to be able to do anything and have redundancy on the tools. Uh, where a typical, just the progress, you're talking like a thousand bucks. So I feel like I made the right investment there. Um, even though the no name brand for the manual, not the hydraulic uh, progress did not have the right tension on it. It needed the shims. And, you know, it's one of those things, you buy it new, you shouldn't have to jerry-rig it. So I wasn't terribly happy with that. And I think that the, um, the zoom lock model, you know, they solved the problem right off the bat. I just wish that they included all the jaws on that one tool. But now I'm going to have the, the hydraulic um, option for uh, hopefully both. Hopefully the jaws are all interchangeable. But anyway, those are the three systems. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this. First and foremost, cleaning blower motors, cleaning heat exchangers inside the heat exchanger, blowing out the inside of a heat exchanger, blowing out the outside of a um, high efficiency tankless water heater without having to open it up, cleaning a blower motor without having to pull the blower motor out 
or drag your finger across each one, which doesn't even do a good job. Um, cleaning the motor windings on a blower motor, like it's next level stuff. It is. It's just next level HVACR. So that's it.